So if you're a new viewer to the channel, let me set this video up for you a little bit. Sue and I just completed a 31-day Adventure Caravans Grand Circle Western National Parks Guided RV Tour. And we ultimately produced seven videos that showed everything we did along the way. And we divided it up by days so that we didn't have 31 days in one video. Uh, you know, who wants to watch a video that's four hours long? So you might want to take a look at that if you enjoy this video. Sue and I saved this video to be an episode by itself because it kind of epitomizes our getting out of our comfort zone only by virtue of the fact that we signed up for this Adventure Caravans tour and of course we had to follow the rest of the route with everybody else. Well, I'm here to tell you that it was some spectacular roadways. This Highway 12 from Bryce to uh, Torrey, Utah was just fantastic and we're so glad we were able to experience it and would not have wanted to miss out on something this exciting. So the 12% grade that we show here, we knew we had an even bigger challenge coming up because the trip log showed us that we had a 14% grade coming up. And so if you come along with us, we'll show you what it's like to lead up to the roadways for the 12% grade and eventually the 14%. But here's gonna be the climax is when we show you riding over the hogback spine uh, in this Highway 12 area. When we left the campground, it didn't take long, probably only four or five miles after we went through this turn about here that we were into some spectacular scenery already. Now, I'd like to tell you uh, how this video is going to work. You're going to hear Sue and I talking in the cab. That's us actually up ahead. You're getting a rear camera view from Pat and Paul that were our travel buddies. They're driving a 2012 Newmar Nutstar and we'll bounce back and forth between our front camera and their dash camera capturing us. Hope you enjoy it. We had fun filming it. Grapes. Going down 8%. I'm literally slowing down without putting my brakes on. Okay, here comes the 12 now. Oh, yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right, get it going. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't have a yeah. a sign that said Percentage. get ready for the ride of your life. Well as it turns out that was no exaggeration because in all of the drive videos that I've done in the three and a half years we've been doing this YouTube thing this was the most fantastic and the most challenging. So we don't afford you. Follow the signs. 800 feet, yeah. Right. It's got to be the turn there, and then. Yeah. This has got to be the turn. Yeah, this little, this little one. It's only three fourths of a mile long. Down to 27, 25. Do we need to turn the air on? Twenty-four. Wow. Well, twenty-four miles an hour, four hundred and fifty horsepower, twelve hundred and fifty foot pounds of torque, Allison, three thousand transmission. What Your gear? foot is on the on the um, 
I'm down to the boards. I don't know what year I'm in. Uh, Just watch the roll contract. I'm in, I'm in second gear. <laughs> oh <my God>. Wow. <coughs> wow. Second gear. I gotta go around this a little faster than I want to. Bike boots that momentum are screwed. Same with this one. Yeah. When you're curving so much yeah. up like this. Well, Jesus. you can look at it, honey. I will look at it. Ooh, Summit, 7,600 feet. And now we're going down. Now yeah, we're going down. We're going down. So this is what retirement is like. Two little kids sitting in the best seat of the house, experiencing life as it should be. Fun and exciting. Well, I saw that sign online. Yeah. Now it did the little man thing, so I did a screenshot to get it so you can Excellent. Yeah. Now the trip log provided by Adventure Caravan told us that this visitor center was up here and that the lot was fairly large, but unfortunately it was jam-packed with too many cars. So I didn't want a chance pulling in and maybe having to disconnect to be able to get out. And certainly it didn't have enough room for Paul that was following yeah. close behind. What if I just pull over here in the bike lane? There you go. Not on the curb. Well, as important as going to the restroom was for the driver, I can tell you that another important thing for us was to get back into Pat and Paul's rig and change the battery in the GoPro because we knew fairly shortly we were going to be coming into some even more spectacular scenery and eventually the hogback, which is what we really wanted to capture for everyone. Well, mission accomplished and we're all on our way again. Now, what you'll see here is what happens many times for me. There'll be like a copycat stop where you'll see somebody that stopped in an area uh, ahead of you and you go, wait a second, do uh, they know something that I don't know? And one of our travel uh, buddies here probably saw our rig uh, parked when they went by and they thought, what the heck, you know, we'll do the same thing. One of the things that we've talked about many times on the channel is that the most nerve-wracking seat in the house is in fact the passenger seat because the passenger has no steering wheel and the passenger has no gas or brake pedal. So it's all about communication between the driver and the passenger. I want you to listen in on some of the conversations Sue and I have back and forth and how we try to keep each other both enjoying the trip and enjoying it safely. So I gotta predict where I'm gonna end up, you know, because otherwise otherwise I gotta step on the gas, just so you know. If I if I get there too slow, I gotta step on the gas. And uh I understand that you're on the cliff here. You know what? Why don't you uh, take some video off the side? That will be awesome. Yeah, and I'll pay attention. I'll go 20 and pay attention. I want 122. I remember when I was driving through this switchback, I was just dumbfounded on how beautiful and awesome it was. And I wanted to make sure that Sue was comfortable enough that even though it was a high anxiety time for her, that she would ultimately look back and enjoy it enough that she would want to do it again and wouldn't be a reason that would start to accumulate why she maybe wants to stop RVing. You have to always keep that in mind. 
it has to be a good experience for both of you for it to be a long-term mission. Fly with this Jake brings as easy as pie. Up in the old Yep. <coughs> with you, Annie. I'm proud of you. 125. That's what it's right. There's the corner we're coming up on. the road we came down on. Fourteen percent! Fourteen percent! Next two miles. Zeepers, crazy. Alrighty. Alright, we're on high. Yep. So from where we stopped, we're going down by a river and we're dropping a thousand feet and then we've got to go back a little bit. Yeah. Boy, am I glad we changed the battery. Yes. I'm even more glad the camera's on. every day there. Mm -hmm. no. So we have to confess that we know that one of the YouTubers that we follow, Nomadic Fanatic, he would for sure be having his left directional on right now and he would in fact be stopping at this place to get a cup of joe and a schnick. Believe it or not, out here in no man's land is a Kaiba coffee Wow. Where? Turn left. Whoa. Don't be a man. Oh, no, there's something on the other side there. That's kind of cool. If we weren't in this big rig, I would have said. I'd look, honey, but I'm kind of don't, busy right don't. now. Kind of busy. Yes. How many percent was that? 14 for? We're not done. Oh. This is four miles. It's a long, super, super slow. Save so anything so. that. Save here, dude. I'm thinking that might be helping you. It is, I can feel it. <laughs> That's where the guy, the coffee guy, lives. It's a trail, <laughs> man. There's cool. nothing there. Outhouse. Yeah. Right. Boy, there was a cropping of rocks that was sticking out there. And if you were driving a motorhome, you'd, you'd have to move over a little bit. Thanks. Well, I'm glad we did this on year five, not month five. I think I would. <laughs> Take it back. I, this is these. Turns are so tight, I literally have to change my comfort drive. So you have it like we're in a 
Uh, I just changed it, so I think it's going to be better. Yeah, I think a kind of go-kart going up for the medium go-kart. Well, I got news for you. You'll catch us on roads like this plenty in the future. We see how spectacular the views were and how you need to drive these roads to get to see the things that we saw on this caravan. Listen in as you can hear a little bit anxiety starting to creep in as I have to stay into the pedal to get up these hills and around them. Sometimes you're on the correct side for the passenger, sometimes you're on the bad side for the passenger. So let's take a listen. Never took my foot off the floor. All right, twenty faster. I won't. I won't. Faster. I won't. Well, I'm twenty-six now. Oh my God! Slower traffic use the turn off. Yeah, right. Slower traffic use the turnout. You got to stay on your toes here and can't daydream because, well, check out this turnout. Wow. It's got to be the 14% right Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use that turnout. Yeah, that's a good one. So to use this, what would happen is Paul would use it and let people pass him. We'd have the slug of cars in between us, and then the next time, I would use one. I ain't using one. Paul's in back, and Paul's got it, if he wants to. I don't think he will. Oh. This is fast enough for everybody. Yeah. We're saving their lives. <laughs> Give them a chance to enjoy yeah. the scenery. Yeah, they got an excuse. Okay. I kind of want to put a plug in right now for having decent towing and roadside assistance coverage like CoachNet that will come out in the middle of nowhere like this with a giant rig to retrieve your RV if you have an issue. And I'm reminded of it only because a few weeks after this was filmed, in fact, Paul had an issue where he was down for the count. So for those of you that don't know Paul, when his rig stopped, to him it was just like, oh, well, I'll just go back there and fix it. So he opened up his bay with all of his Milwaukee tools and proceeded to put a belt on and put some antifreeze and water in, and uh, he was good to go. But it ultimately ended up being more complicated than that, and he had to eventually limp it in to Albuquerque. If this would have happened to the Chan man, that's when a lot of tears would have happened. Maybe I would have got a Fifi out, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. And then I would call CoachNet and they would take it from there. The speed limit is 35 NPH. Take it down. Yikes. Remember folks, this is a first time experience for Sue and I, driving this close to cliffs, 
and driving on these narrow of roads. But I'm really not nervous because I have a steering wheel and a gas pedal and a brake pedal. And Sue has none of those. Wow. Look at that hole over yeah, there. I, I know. Yeah, you can take a movie of it. No, I won't. I'm proud of her. I really am proud of her, and I'm thankful that I am married to a woman that's courageous enough to sit in the passenger seat and let this control freak drive all the time because I don't think I could be a passenger. Now Sue had the trip log in front of her and as we were going up these steep inclines, I'm only looking so far ahead because you know I kind of got to keep the yellow line and the white line in mind and look to see how everything's doing in back of me. So. I only look ahead so much. Uh, so she could anticipate as the roadway was getting steeper and steeper, and I'm sure she kept thinking to herself, when are we going to get to the summit, and when are we going to get to this hogback, and what does it look like, and how nerve-wracking is it going to be? Coming up is the peak moment of anxiety for Sue when we finally come over this hill and we realize that we are finally on the top of this mountain spine and we literally have no more elevation to our right because it is just flattened out. And you can tell by Sue's voice here that it's like Mark Please pay attention. How many times did we say when we saw a motorhome doing hey. this, we'd be like, what are they doing? This is the stripper road. We didn't have these dump trucks coming through. Wow. Nick's on the dump trucks. Well, we're following the pilot in the car, so. They must know what they're doing.
Adventure 1, this is Adventure 5. We are arriving. 0.3 miles. In turn, correct? Did you guys see the visitor and information center? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Roger left. that. We have arrived. Wow. All right. like to thank the folks that made it this far in the video invite you to like and subscribe ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything this wasn't a typical video our typical videos are travel maintenance or how-to videos but every once in a while when we travel somewhere fantastic like that we want to show you what it was like uh, we don't need our car Put this on camera. <laughs> that was the most stressful ride. Sheesh. All right, Annie. Hi. Hey. 